Welcome to another video from Gui Lao 60. You gotta be living in a black hole in China not to understand what's going on with H&M, Nike, Adidas, Xinjiang Cotton. Oh yeah, H&M. Yeah, H&M, the second largest retailer in the world, has taken the stance, the rhetoric from Western media, Western politicians, that Xinjiang cotton is being harvested through slave labor from the Uyghurs. So it's not good enough to say uh, vocational uh, training centers are concentration camps. It's not okay to say that uh, people are being held against their will. But now it's their slave labor. Seriously, they're saying that it's slave labor. Oh, it's not slave labor, it's alleged slave labor. So the idea that uh, the United States and Canada, the Great Britain and, and uh, Australia have all sanctioned Chinese politicians that are dealing with Xinjiang uh, here just lately saying, uh, genocide, atrocities, uh, all of these different things, but it's alleged, alleged, alleged. Everything's alleged. You know what I mean? So now these these large companies are starting to get on board and they're parroting what these governments are saying around the world. They have no idea whether it's true or not. That's where that word alleged comes in. Yes, but Chinese social media is fighting back. The Chinese people are starting to fight back. Chinese, over the last couple of days, H&M, the second largest retailer in the world, has been banned from a number of e-commerce stores here in China. Alibaba, no more H&M guys. Uh, JDcom, no more H&M guys. And uh, you know, the thing is that if they want to take a stance against China, with the rhetoric from politicians and Western mainstream media in the West, um, they're gonna have to pay the price. I support Sijiang Cotton. Hashtag was read over one billion times around the world. And I would imagine most of it here in China. Companies like H&M are learning really quickly that social media is a very strong, powerful form of getting your word out. Uh, it, and it is really, really strong here in China. So strong that it can dictate who's gonna buy your product and who's not gonna buy your product. And if one billion people, one billion people around the world have read this hashtag, one billion people know exactly where H&M stands on this particular subject. And it makes you wonder how these companies got so big. Uh, because if they're going to alienate over 20% of their potential customers, you know what I mean? Nike too, Adidas too, H&M. Uh, you know, if they're going to alienate 20% or more than 20% of their worldwide customers, how did they get so large? Who's their marketing people? Don't they know any better? What's the matter with these people? You see, and it's basically the, the human rights activist groups that are taking what mainstream media and the politicians are saying in the West and using it against China. And, and that's one of the things that uh, uh, they do very well. They use, they use social media just like the Chinese people use social media, only they use social media in the West. Boy, she's noisy here, but we're right downtown. Uh, Chaoyang district of Nanning City, seven and a half million people. And this is probably one of the, the most central areas of the city, and that's where H&M is. They are big in China, and uh, but they're not as big as they were yesterday or the day before, you know what I mean? Combating lack of education, uh, having vocational institutions to teach people how to, uh, to do things, to make money. Uh, setting up vocational institutions to help curb extremism in poor areas of China, i.e. Xinjiang province, is under the, the dictionary, the Western dictionary, under slave labor. Uh, I guess they've changed it just for you people out there, just now. Spreading rumors to uh, boycott Xinjiang cotton is just another way to compete 
in the world today. Uh, as far as competing against Chinese, unfairly competing against Chinese products like Huawei, like ZTE, uh, 5G, now cotton, Sijin cotton. Okay, so they're, they're saying that um, Uyghurs, the, the, the Uyghur Muslim population in Xinjiang is being used as slave labor to pick cotton. How ironic is that? You know what I mean? Like, really? You guys, uh, it's, a, it's a throwback into, uh, I don't know. Where do they get this stuff from? You know, how do they come up with this stuff? Uh, you know, vocational training centers are concentration camps. They're not concentration camps. They're uh, slave labor camps. Oh, they're not slave labor camps. They're, you know, if this doesn't work and this doesn't work and this, it just gets worse and worse and worse. Um, it's a, it's a it's a war of words. It's a it's a war of slanderous words against China to compete with the Chinese companies. And uh, it doesn't matter what the product is. If the product is competing with a, with a Western product, uh, it's bad. And they'll use any type of of uh, lie or slander or propaganda to to blacken the eye of the Chinese economy. Uh, and, and, it, and it's getting to be so outrageous that uh, people are starting to see through it and people aren't believing it anymore. And that's where it's all going to stop. But as you can see, the Chinese are starting to band together. The Chinese on social media, one billion hits on I support Xinjiang cotton, one billion hits. So the Chinese people are starting to band together. They're starting to boycott. H&M. They're starting to boycott Nike and Adidas. Uh, when you got 1.4 billion consumers in one country and they start boycotting your products uh, because of your political stance against their country, uh, it's going to make a, a big dent in your bottom line, in your profits at the end of the year. And I think that's what you're seeing here. You're seeing a soft power. China isn't into the military power uh, taking advantage of other countries around the world with guns and violence. What they do is they use a soft power. If, if you don't like what we're doing, well, then we just won't buy your products. If you don't like our products, uh, how do they say H&M uh, isn't good enough for Zijian cotton? As, and you know, um, they're probably right about that. If they're going to take a political stance against China in this manner, I think they have to pay the price of, of taking a stance like that. And as the, the Chinese people band together and as they, they boycott these businesses in China on, on their e-commerce stores, uh, the Alibabas and the JDcoms of the world, uh, or of China, as, as the Chinese people say, well, I'm not going to buy that product, I'm going to buy a Chinese product, uh, you're going to see China get richer, uh, companies like H&M, a Swedish company, uh, get poorer, and uh, that's just the way it works nowadays, guys. If, uh, if you want to read into the political rhetoric of the West and, and uh, use that in your marketing campaign scheme, what the hell are you guys thinking about? Holy smokes, dumb as a stump. Um, I guess anybody can work for H&M. Uh, it, it is what it is, guys. I'm probably going to uh, slay this name. Huang Xuan, <laughs> an actor. He was the ambassador for H&M here in China. Not anymore, guys. Uh, uh, no, no, no. He uh, won't have anything to do with H&M anymore uh, because of their political stance. And the same thing with uh, Wang Yibo, he's a singer, a Chinese singer that uh, used to uh, be sort of like the face in China of Nike. Not anymore, because Nike took that same political stance uh, that, uh, you know, the alleged use of, of forced labor in Xinjiang province in the cotton industry. Uh, we don't use Xinjiang cotton in our shoes. You know what I mean? How condescending is that? But. Uh, the heat is on and uh, it's not going to go away anytime soon. The, the Chinese people are starting to see what's going on in the West. How the West is dealing with China and the Chinese companies and they know they have the soft power, the economic power to, uh, to boycott these guys and uh, to actually hurt them where it hurts the worst in their pocketbook and they're doing it and they're doing it really good. One billion hits on I support Zijian Cotton. Maybe I should use that as the, the title to this video. 
And you wonder where it comes from. In December, the United States government banned all exports of Xinjiang cotton to the United States. Because, uh, and I'll quote, because uh, I want to make this uh, perfectly clear, concerns that they may have been made by slave labor in some of the most egregious human rights violations existing today. Maybe. Uh, it, it doesn't say it was, but it may be. You see, and that's just it. Uh, you know, regimes like the United States, you see how I use that word regime? The United States regime may be responsible for they use the word regime, they use the word maybe, alleged, this alleged, that. They have no idea what they're talking about. What they're doing is they're actually spreading rumors about companies in China. They're spreading rumors about the Chinese government, they're spreading rumors about Huawei, they're spreading rumors about the cotton industry, they're spreading rumors about ZTE and 5G, and you know what I mean? And that's exactly what they do. So it's a, it's a, it's a war of words and it's, it's gonna just keep on keeping on. So as the West maliciously spreads lies about China, about the Chinese businesses, cotton, Huawei, ZT, uh, you know, 5G, all of these different things. As they maliciously spread these spread these lies around, uh, they're hoping that some of it takes hold. They're hoping for more allies in other countries, in other businesses, and uh, H&M and uh, Nikes and Adidas, the ones that do sort of sink their teeth into this stuff and, and parrot it back to the rest of the world are the ones that are going to get financially hit. And, uh, you know, I really don't think that the Americans or the governments around the world really give a rat's ass about the, the H&Ms of the world. So by their marketing people, um, uh, as I say, parroting this stuff around the world, um, they're taking it on the chin. And they're going to take it on the chin really good because China, from this point on, they're not going to take it anymore. They're going to start fighting back. And uh, fighting back with their dollars is a really, really good place to start. And that's another video from Guilao 60. Political? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, but, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that's another video from in front of the H&M store here in Nanning, China, in the Chaoyang district of Nanning, China. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Thanks for watching. Bye now.